combining genres, mm -hmm. how do we avoid clashing each other or canceling each other out? Well, that's just that's something you have to feel. Uh, could you give me an example of a combination of genres that might cancel itself out? Um, well, if not done properly, I guess comic horror or horror comedy could could kind of cancel each other out. I mean, in a sense that it it, it becomes without an identity. I'm not sure. No, I mean, no, that's, right. no, that's yeah, a good example. Uh, and, and this is related to the question they, of falsely yeah. leading the audience regarding a false title. Or well, a, the title of uh, Shaun of the Dead right. Why? tells us right, right. Okay. right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, how to, um, how to um, uh, uh, make, it, make it really hurt mm -hmm. and then cut to comedy. Right. Uh, uh, this is not new. Uh, the, there's another combination uh, called um, tragic comedy, uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin was a master mm -hmm. of this, of how to um, uh, combine tragedy and comedy, and he could do it. Um, and so um, he just had a great technique of um, Leading the audience toward one toward pathos and tears, and then toward laughter, mm -hmm. and so um, uh, certainly it can be done. And as I said, Shaun of the Dead, of course, a mixed uh, horror and comedy. Um, there's there's two kinds of uh, mixture. There's uh, merging, right, and mixing, right. That's what I was gonna yeah ask you. Uh -huh. uh, when um, when genres are mixed, it generally means that the central plot is one genre, and there will be subplots, subplots right. that mm. are of uh, another genre, mm. and you cross-cut between them. When genres merge, it means that the, the two stories actually blend. Uh, so, for example, there's a genre called the maturation plot, mm. the coming-of-age mm. story, mm. which can be merged. Mm often is, with, with love stories. Mm -hmm. And so, how does the character uh, become able to love? Mm -hmm. He grows up. I guess the love story is kind of like the subplot within the merge, within the blend, no? No, it, uh, no. it, it depends. Yeah, it, I mean, depends. it depends yeah. on where you put the emphasis. Uh, so, uh, uh, the 40-year-old virgin, uh, okay? Is the four-year-old virgin's a combination of maturation, maturation. comedy, mm -hmm. and love, and um, uh, which one is getting uh, the most emphasis? You'd have to sort of study that film and, and figure out because they, they really can't be um, they can't be separated. Uh, they are merged, and so. Um, uh, and how you find the balance of which one is the, the dominant one all depends on the writing, depends on where you put the emphasis on what's, what's really important. And uh, the, way, the best way you know that is that um, when you get to the ending, and we're talking about this in lecture, okay. when you get to the ending, uh, you ask yourself, uh, what is the core value? And if if, this is after the first draft, or like? Well, so, yeah, 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 once you got an ending, ending yeah. somewhere you get an ending. Right. right? Uh, and then you ask yourself, what is the core value? Is it really about love, or is it about growing up, or is it about the education character, or the disillusionment of the character, so forth? Um, where does the emphasis? Uh -huh. And these are these are textual questions. And they can change. I mean, in one draft, you feel that the love story is really what it's about. It's about finding the capacity to love. And then you think, no, no, it's really about changing his attitude toward life. Mm. Uh, and uh, and in the third draft, you think, no, no, it's um, it's really about um, growing up. And so. Um, so that all three of those can be mixed together, merged. And so it's a question.
that you have to answer. Whether I prioritize or blend, it, it, it becomes a choice after after looking at the core yeah, value. Yeah, thinking in terms of prioritizing is a mistake. Oh. I mean, you have to feel these things. Hmm. You have to be able to experience uh, the story as if you were a first-time audience, and you have to have a sense of where does the emphasis fall. What, what if I took it out, would destroy the story? Uh, okay. And uh, uh, and what that is, I can't. You know, nobody can tell. There's no real. Uh, there's no way. There's, there's no slide rule. There's no mathematics that you can apply. Uh, you just have to write it. Step back and see your, your emerging stories, and then you have to feel what's the emphasis. Uh, and uh, often um, you test it out on your friends. Um, and uh, see what their reactions is, and you might be surprised that what you thought was uh, one kind of genre, and the other say no, the other thing is more important. And I and I, I can't give you I can't. You're right. No, okay. There's no hard and fast in okay. this. You just mm. you understand what it is, mm. what mixing and merging means, and then you write, and then you see how it um, how it. Uh, by the time you get to the ending, you really can't know. And answer to any of these questions until you got the end. All right, thank you. I, I'll let you know. <laughs> Fifty-five.